Hi guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Neil. If you've not been here before, please do not forget to subscribe before you leave. Today, finally, on the channel, we are checking out the MXR 5150 Overdrive. Okay guys, so as I said in the unboxing, I've waited a hell of a lot of time now, and so have you guys too, to try out this EVH Overdrive 5150 pedal. It's been out absolute years now. I can't even remember when this thing was first launched. It looks absolutely awesome. Like, there probably is no pedal on earth that looks as good as this pedal. It's got the EVH stripes on there, the EVH logo in the middle. This is a pedal by Jim Dunlop Pedals, you know, MXR Pedals. I am a Dunlop artist as far as strings go, but I've not had many Dunlop pedals on the channel. I've got three to demo for you guys. This one, the Badass Super Overdrive and the Badass uh, Distortion as well. We're going to check out all those pedals, but first of all, we're going to check out the EVH 5150. Now, in today's demo, I thought it would only be right if I put this pedal into a clean channel of one of my EVH amps. There will be other demos that I do on this pedal where I'm going into an IR loader, you know, to see what it's like straight into an IR loader, kind of uses a preamp pedal. And I will also check out what this pedal is like going into the return of an amp as well. But in today's demo, I'm just going to put it into the clean channel of my EL34S. Down here there is a HESU 212 V30 loaded cab. It's going to have a Shure SM57 on the speaker. That is what you're going to be hearing on your end. I'm just going to play with this thing and you guys can listen to the tones. First of all, we're going to check out this thing without using the boost, okay? There is a boost button over here, and when you engage, it does add quite a lot of gain and sizzle. We're not going to use that in the first part of this demo. I'm just going to go through the tones and see how chunky and how much chug we can get out of this thing. For those of you wondering what this little thing over here is, that is the noise gate. I will also be fiddling with that in the first part of the demo.
Okay guys, so before we engage the boost on this pedal and wrap up the video, I just wanted to check out some of the blurb on the EVH website, go through it with you guys, and as always, fill you in on a bit of the background and the backstory of this pedal. So on the Jim Dunlop website, it says, The Long Story. The MXR design team has collaborated with Eddie Van Halen to deliver a full range of powerful saturation and hyper-driven tones right at your feet. The resulting EVH 5150 Overdrive joins hand-adjusted multi-stage MOSFETs with a full complement of control to deliver overdriven tube-like tones and exceptional sonic flexibility through a wide variety of amps and speaker cabinets. Whether on stage or in the studio, the EVH 5150 Overdrive's controls dial up the whole spectrum from Eddie's groundbreaking early classic tones to the high gain super articulate sound he later used. Output and gain control set your volume and distortion levels while a three band passive tone stack EQ section shapes your sound to taste. The boost switch kicks the 5150 overdrive into high gear with extra gain and compression and the gate control powered by the smart gate circuit tames unwanted noise. The EVH 5150 Overdrive features true bypass switching and comes in a roadworthy housing emblazoned with custom EVH artwork. So the gate on this pedal sounds like it is basically a tiny version, you know, smaller version, a more simple version of the Smart Gate technology. The Smart Gate is a pedal I owned many months ago, but I can't remember much about it really. I mean, it did its job, I guess, but I don't even know what happened to that pedal. I probably could still have it kicking around for all I know. Anyway, without further ado, let's now check out what this boost button does on the 5150 pedal. 
And what I want you guys to do is go down there below in the comments and let me know what you think of this pedal. Do you want me to compare this pedal to say like an EVH Red on the channel, something like that? That could be the next video if that's what you guys want. If you want to purchase this pedal, please go down there in the link below. There is an Andertons link there. I'm an Andertons affiliate. That means that when you go through that link and buy absolutely anything at all, it helps contribute towards the channel and support what I do on this end. Let's get on with it. Let's check it out.